Maybe that is old news. The Prusa XL. I would say the Prusa XXXL because it is huge, bigger than all the others we have seen from Prusa before. Getting the latest news and updates right here on Zachary's 3D Prints. Hello, I'm Zachary and welcome to this news and updates, the closer look on the Prusa XL. If you're new here and not subscribed, consider subscribing and hit the notification button to get the latest news and updates right in your YouTube alerts. And thanks for being here. Before I'm going to into the video, a little disclaimer. Some of the pictures are from the Prusa Research website. So now that is out of the way, let's get into the Prusa XL. The first thing that, that we see on this machine is the black over orange part. It's look more black than orange to me, but I think it's also because of the bigger size of this 3D printer. It's an XL 3D printer. It's big, it's huge. And one of the things that you will see is the bellow that you can put uh, higher or lower uh, so to make it more enclosed. So that is a very weird, but maybe a very nice feature of this thing. The display, it's very similar, like we have seen on the MK3S or MK3S Plus. But in this case, it looks like it uses the display from the Prusa Mini. What I have seen on the form next stand was that it is looking the same. One of the things that is very spectacular on this machine is the 16 independent heat zones that this 3D printer has. Normally on the printer that you will see printing behind me, it is just one plate and it heats up everywhere. But in this case, the zones are independently heated by this 3D printer. If you have a small print, not the whole bed needs to be heated. So this is a segmented bed. I've seen the bottom part it looks very interesting, very, very high tech, do I need to say. Because of the modular bed system, it doesn't warp like we used to see on normal FDM 3D printers with one piece of metal being heated and then you will get a dip in the middle or maybe on the edges it's lower and you're always wondering why your first layer is not being printed that nicely and always needing to have something like a glass plate to be able to compensate with this little dent in the middle. We have also a different kind of tool head that we have never seen before on any of the Prusa machines. It's a direct drive extruder. Now that is in particular not so weird or so strange, but in this case, the whole design is looking much more different. It's, it's called by Prusa the Nextruder, as in the next extruder, uh, the next gen extruder in this case, as it is called on the block. This whole system, you have a nozzle that is going to tip on the build plate. So yeah, it's, it's, it's a very nice, decent system. And why using a Pinda probe, a ABL, if you have this kind of system as well. So that's a very great step that Prusa did on this uh, Prusa XL. As they say, a always a perfect first layer. Talking about the first layer, I have a Prusa Mini. And one of the things that you need to do is the first layer calibration. But in this case, you don't need to do a Z first layer calibration. They have also a load cell sensor which allows to do more than that. Uh, we now recognize a jam in the nozzle and pass the print. Very awesome. And also one of the thing of this Prusa XL, you have a single nozzle, you have a, no, I, I say single nozzle, then it sounds that you have two nozzles. No, you have a single extruder, you have a uh, dual extruder, and you have even five extruders. 
five different kind of tool heads that you can have on this Prusa XL. To be honest, I really would like to get my hands on one of these 3D printers in the future. But I saw that this machine is, is selling like crazy. So it's, it's not in the near future. They also have a zero backlash silo codal gearbox with large no slip drive gear. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> just rolls off the tongue. Yeah, indeed. Um, I heard the term yesterday as well and I was like, excuse me, what are you saying? <laughs> it's, it allows for greater control of how the filament is fed into the nozzle and a bit overkill solution a 22-1 gearbox so it's a very high precision gearbox which allows a very nice a very precise filament in inputs and also nice output yeah so this is 32-bit motherboard in this machine which is connected via a single cable interface so also cool what it says here they have added a thermistor into the heat brake instead of in the heater block this allows to adjust the temperature according to the material spec and also detect heat creep so that is very nice the nozzle is from e3d so quality component there so also one one of the things that i notice on this machine normally the printers from Prusa have this nylon filament into the wiring harness but in this case they they use a metal strip a, I, I think it's spring metal allows that the whole wire loom and, and also the PTFE tube is going all the way across the uh, whole machine so you need to have a very large space above the printer in order to get it uh, nice and uh, yeah jumpy right tools for the right job so like mentioned you can have a single extruder a dual extruder and uh, up to five different kind of tool heads five different colors five different uh, filaments so you can print pla with pva or patch g with abs or something like that you you can fill in the gaps if you buy and this is something also nice to, to mention. So if you buy the Prusa XL with a single extruder, you can always upgrade it to going from two, one or two, two heads to uh, three, four or five. You need to add a expansion card. This way you can upgrade your XL gradually over time to suit your needs. In other words, if you buy a single tool XL, you will be able to purchase the tool changer and individual tool heads separately. So if you really would like to have the Prusa XL and you want to start with the lower price, then go ahead, buy, just buy the uh, single extruder and over time you can upgrade your machine to a five tool head beast. So the machine will be available in the second uh, quarter or the third quarter of 2022. There are three versions available in the eShop. Uh, the cheapest one for 1,999 US dollars. Uh, the du dual tool head uh, semi-assembled, everything is semi-assembled, is 2,499 US dollars and the five tool head semi-assembled is 3,499 US dollars. The price of the fully assembled version of each variant will be $500 more. So I will put the link in the description of this video where you can buy it. The Prusa webshop. Link is in the description of this video. So to wrap up this video, the Prusa XL, it's an amazing machine. It's a machine where everybody was waiting for and now finally it is announced, it is showed. I have seen that thing in real life. I got some information about it. I've got a little leaflet, I've got some pictures and uh, made some videos about it. And now in this news and updates, a closer look, 
about the Prusa XL. Maybe this is the third or fourth video about this 3D printer, but hey, I want to cover as much as 3D printers as possible. This video is supported by these awesome Patreon supporters. Lawyer Moses, The Lightspeed, Thixum Dude and Carl Fenton. Thank you guys for your awesome support every single time. You can also support this channel by checking the Patreon link in the description of this video and becoming a patron of this YouTube channel. If you're still watching this video, you are amazing. Thank you so much. On the end card, there are some recommended videos worth watching. And while you're there, check out the merch in the merch store. Please like this video, share this video with other people and on social media. And if you'd like to watch some live streams, I do some live streams on twitch.tv slash zagri 3 dprints And I'll see you next time. And hey, let's make awesome things with 3D printing. Zagri 3D prints. Bye bye.